ago in England in 1592. There begins our tale, and all of it is true. Through the whole of London, bubonic plate it spread, covering folk in weeping sores and leaving thousands dead. From towns and cities, doctors they did flee, leaving their patients to die in misery. But one brave doctor stayed when all the cowards fled. Might hunt to be because he was too sick to leave his bed. Alas, tis my final hour. I will surely die. I am too far gone to recover, and for the plague there is no cure. Unless, unless a cure might be found in the stars. Let me see now. According to the stars, the way to cure the plague is to treat the fever it provokes. Oh, can it be true? Might a disease so monstrous as the plague be cured by treating it as if it were an exceeding bad fever? Then I must use powerful herbs to bring the fever to crisis and break it. Let me see now. Angelica and dandelion for heat. They are borage to provoke sweating. Infuse them in wine. Strain and distill the mixture to produce a most powerful strong water. Huzzah! I am cured! <laughs> I shall now go forth with my miraculous strong water to cure all London of the plague. God give you good day, madam. How may I? Be you Mr. Foreman? Um, Mr. Simon? I, madam, I am indeed Dr. Simon Foreman. Alan, mistress. Uh, pray tell me your age, if you... I am three and thirty years of age. And how might I do you service this day, Mr. Alan? Uh... Well, the pain started full late last eve upon retiring to bed. Oh, not that I am in the habit of retiring so late. But my husband did desire a special supper of cold meats to celebrate and give thanks for... A moment whilst I make note of this. Uh... Aye, that is all. And thinking on it, my complaint to seem most trifling. And you... you are doubtless busy with important cases. Oh, like... Prithee, do not go. Uh, for I assure you, madam, your case verily is important to me. And... Well, uh, uh... Let us consult the stars now then, shall we? Mistress Allen, it appears you are suffering from evil digestion. Verily? Why, yes. My chart shows that Saturn is in Cancer at this moment. Cancer rules the stomach, and Saturn... The bile? 
Do you think... Ah, then I take it you believe you are with child. Mayhap twas the reason for your celebration. Aye, sir, I do believe it. For it has been fourteen weeks since my courses, and yesterday I did even feel the child quicken. In truth, it is the reason I am come. Not on my own account, and not even then, if, if my situation were ordinary. I have been with child before, you see, but tis never... Mr. Al How now, madam? Speak not so of yourself, for you are the child's mother. Tis you who gives life to the babe growing inside you. And I'm sorry. Tis just the time. Dear lady, would God have spared you from the pl- I own tis. Yes, doubtless God does. Fare you well, Mistress Allen. Good day, sir. You are Simon Foreman, the physician, are you not? Indeed, I am he, and well met, sir. Be it Thomas Blagg. Indeed, tis I, Thomas Blagg. Uh, though it is not upon church business that I come to you this day, tis upon a matter of my own that I require counsel. Indeed he does. Tis well known that astrology is but a conduit for the word of God. As interpreted, you... Two merchant ships will shortly set sail on very lucrative trading expeditions. I do not possess the coin to invest in both. Hence, I must choose between them. And I must I forsooth. T'would be most lamentable to say... Who are naturally... I naturally. And whether... The first is bound for the Spice Islands of the East. Tis a voyage to be undertaken by a ship named the Conk... Aye, Dean Blag. We may now consult the stars. Should Thomas Blag... The stars advise you to invest in the... I see. And why is that? Well, I have calculated that at this very hour... Mars has been exalted by Scott. When exalted, Mars represents victory. And so, with... Ah, I see. Uh, for a cherub is a... Is a Sir, pray tell, are these the consulting chamber? Indeed, tis I, Dr. Simon Foreman, and your name? Emma Sharp of Shoreditch, sir. Five and twenty. Welcome, Miss Sharp, and how- Well, tis a trifle delicate. A man has asked me to be his wife. A dear kind- There, there, madam, whatever is the matter? Well, he is exceeding advanced in years. I do worry he may not be long for the world, and if he were to die, I do not think I could bear it. <laughs> Nay, not in the least, madam. Your fears are most reasonable. The man in the winter of his life... Is Forsooth I do. That is my question precisely. <laughs> uh, merely the gift of logical... Sir Mr. George Middleton, a wool merchant. <clears throat> Does Mr... I am full sorry, madam, but the stars give heavy news. Mr. Middleton suffers from a cardiac passion. Indeed, his heart may stop at any moment. He oh, must avoid well, anything that might Mr. alarm or trouble I his thank vital you for spirits. Your kind understanding, One Dr. shock Foreman, could and, be enough to kill and him. And for your discretion in this matter. What is the meaning of this warning being put about by the College of Physicians? Do they mean to do me harm? It is true that 
I do not have a medical license. I see. These doctors have waged war against me, and the only way to stop them is to obtain a medical license. And in the House of Religion... <laughs> ah, yes. A reminder that the Archbishop has the power to grant such licenses. Mayhap I will one day find a way to petition him for one. In the meantime...